My name is uh, Justin Romare, and I'm going to Yale University. One thing you'll notice about him is his work ethic. It's unseen in this school compared to J. Rome, you know, juggling baseball and Belize and his internships and, you know, his major chemistry. I mean, I don't think you can even compare anyone in this school. A lot of time studying, especially on the bus, he'd sit in front of the bus and do his homework and everybody would be playing cards or just hanging out. Watching TV, ESPN. Sleeping and... Just playing cards and goofing around. Oh, lollygagging. Texting girls, whatever it is. He's always in the front of the bus reading, reading about covalent bonds or some chemistry stuff, organic, organic chemistry. It's, he's very committed to what he does and uh, he's proved that over his four years at Loyola. J. Rome is a huge motivation for our team, uh, especially me. You know, he's the last one going to sleep and he's the first one waking up. Uh, I'm in my nights, we'd stay in the library till you know, midnight till it closed and go home tired and I'm getting a call from him at seven o'clock in the morning. You know, wake up punk, you know, we're gonna work out. And uh, you know, he really pushes you to be your best. I hope when he leaves, I can fulfill the role that Jerome has placed on this team. My first day at Loyola, I, I never thought that it would, would have accomplished the things that I did. Um, I know that when we're taking the test, you know, me and my chemistry friends, we stay up pretty late. And, uh, we're studying and, you know, we're talking about, you know, who knows it the best. And, you know, we'll see when we get the test back. And that really kept me motivated at first when I was here at Loyola. I think I got that from playing sports, specifically playing baseball. Uh, the most significant award I think that I have received here at Loyola is the most important award I actually received uh, quite recently. It's the Ignatius Man of the Year award. It has the athletic aspect, it has the academic aspect, the community service aspect, and I think all those tie, tied in one makes it the most important award. Um, I mean, being able to go to a Jesuit school and succeed academically, but to succeed in doing community service the justice aspect and all the aspects of Jesuit education is something I never thought I would be able to accomplish. And I'm very grateful, um, essentially, that I was able to accomplish the things that I did. Um, and it's been a long road, and I'm, you know, I'm glad I finally you know, crossed the finish line. I think of him going to Yale University to study a PhD in organic chemistry, I mean, I just say, wow. You know, you hear stories of him teaching. Um, even to the point where someone had said, I've learned better organic chemistry from him than my professor. And I think more importantly probably, um, he's grown as a human being. I mean, he, I, um, he provides a little bit of humor. Uh, he's always a, a character, as I said. Um, he's the kind of person who uh, can be very open and honest in the process of uh, selecting him as an Ignatian scholar, or actually as the Ignatian award winner. And what we were looking for was a student that was outstanding holistically. We chose uh, a young man and a young woman, and he ended up being the uh, young man being chosen, and I think he richly deserved it.